Without any problems, we roll into Lorella Spring Station. This is an amazing one million acre property with plenty to see and do. And if you're looking for a bargain, there's a few around. We meet up with old mate, Rhett Walker, who's just come through what anyone would call a pretty rough patch. Well, Rhett, it's been a long time since I've been out here. Yeah, it has. I'm glad you're back. Thanks, mate. But you were telling me that you had, you had this horrific injury. Yeah, lucky to be alive. You pretty much thought you were going to die. I was certain of it. Yeah, my head burst apart. A like, snow strap and chain broke towing a big tyre, building roads, as yeah. you've done last time you were here. I've towed the same thing. Yeah, but yeah, it sort of came up and wrapped around my head, took out that side of my face, and I was pretty sure I was dying out there. And um, the kids and my dad, they managed to get me back into here. It was yeah. a long trip back in. Um, I think it was 14 hours between accident to Darwin and, and like, 14 hours, I, yeah. Many, many litres of blood were lost on the way and... Yeah, because yeah. you were saying it was like 10 hours before they could get a, a, a helicopter to you. Because of where we are and the problems with like, the chopper had to fuel up and then the plane couldn't land on the strip and all sorts of dramas, but yeah. Um, so it really sort of set in a bit about how isolated... How remote we are, yes. Yeah. Um, the people that flew in to help us said we're the most remote. It was the most major extraction they've ever had to do. No kidding. Yeah. This is all of the northern end of Australia. To my knowledge, yes. Road travel would have killed Rhett, so Care Flight sent two aircraft for the extraction. A helicopter that had to refuel twice just to get here, and a plane that had to land at another airstrip. The chopper took Rhett to the plane, and the plane took him to Darwin. 14 hours later, after his accident, doctors had Rhett stabilised. Though they commented that the only worst skull fracture they'd seen was on a corpse. 18 months later, Rhett was back at work. Though from time to time, he still sneezes out chunks of windscreen glass. That really cements the fact that this is a remote place, isn't it? After all the years, we've never known what would happen in a situation like that. Never really had a major situation like that. And yes, it is remote. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm glad you're OK, because um, I'd hate to lose you. <laughs> I need you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate, well, let's get going, eh? There's a saying up here, territory tough. And if you want to know what that looks like, well, our mate Rhett is a living example. <laughs>